Shout out! Shout out! What's happening, everybody? November the 20th. Just a few more days to Turkey Day. Go, 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 go. All right, how y'all doing today? Shout out to my good friends, Tony, Mary, Marcy, Shane, Amber, C, and Denny. Yes, sir. Shout out to y'all. Tony, I'm glad you're going strong, buddy. I'm glad you're out of the hospital. I'm glad you're taking care of yourself. Uh, wish I could come see you. But I'm not going up there in that cold weather. Cold enough down here. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Kathy Sharp, Jeff Sharp. Jeff, I hope you're doing okay. For me, a little bit of illness you had. And you're back up to speed so we can go out again to the moose and enjoy ourselves. The Siri. Shout out to my good buddy, Trucker Jukebox. My good friend. The Siri. I met that gentleman back. Two or three weeks ago. Go on there and watch his videos. Yes, sir. Just type in truck or jukebox. Y'all want to enjoy it? He takes you on a ride. You don't even have to leave the leave. Don't even have to leave the couch. Yeah. And he tells you here, tells you things that you need to know. Yes, sir. He does. He's got two little puppies that goes with him. You enjoy them. You just want to cuddle your old puppy dog you got. Yes, sir. Shout out to uh, Brucey, Bruce, and Derek, and my Aunt Elsie. Shout out to Lord Miss Lissy. Here we go. Uh, Teresa King. Shout out to her. Shout out to. Um, and I got. It, it's hard to sit here and say, you know, shout out to these people because. Y'all don't want to hear all this BS bullcrap I'm shouting out. You know, I know that uh, the Jack Bishop and I know that uh, the Meadows, they look at this here. They give likes. But I'm glad they look at it because I just, it kills me time and tells you it's a way to tell you that I'm still living and kicking. You know, doing okay. Got a little hit, little hits, hits, middle, you know. Everybody's got a little illness, you know. Everybody's got a little financial problems. But hey, you try to dip yourself out of it and you pick yourself up and knock the dust off. And hey, you keep going, right? So that's what I hope everybody does during the holidays. Don't go out there and spend what you don't have, you know. It's it's kind of stupid to go out there and spend six seven hundred dollars and pay for it for it the next you know next year. And the bad part about it, it ain't even yours. It's went to somebody else. I know you enjoy the guy you give a living. Hey, enjoy a gift a living. Gifting. Get a dang on card from uh, the local restaurants. You know, twenty-five dollar meal or something like that. Then he can enjoy that. You know, they go it. Yeah. Hi. I'm, I hope you're not ready for this one. This one. It's gonna go a little long today. I got a pet peeve. Now, I don't know if anybody else does it. Please tell me if you do. You go to the doctor's office. First thing you gotta pay is a copay. Which my copay is uh, to see a specialist is forty five dollars. All right, I pay him his forty five dollars. Here's two weeks later, he sends me another bill. He wants twenty percent what the insurance didn't pay him. I mean, hey, he just got two hundred ninety dollars just to come in the room and talk to me for ten minutes or five minutes. But hey. Hundred and some odd dollars. The insurance negotiated with him off. It's my but twenty percent. So here you pay it. Send me a bill. Another place I go to paid forty five dollars. I sit in a room 
I knew it's to sit in a room. And he sent me a bill for $100. I don't use nothing in the room, but nothing at all, because I forgot my own chair. Nothing. Zero. But they got to send a bill for $100. You know, used to be 90 but last year it went to 100 You know, I guess he needed to change the Kleenexes in the room. Oh, man, it's just terrible. But that's a pet peeve. And the insurance are letting them do it. I mean, you're paying this insurance, and they're just, they don't really care. They just bill, send the bill. I wish I could send a bill. A bill, I, the bill, our first bill I would send is when I'm going to an office, and if my appointment's at 3 o'clock, and at 3 o'clock, the doctor hadn't took me at 3 o'clock. Every 15 minutes he don't take me, it's 40 dollars so if i turn around and it takes me an hour and a half two hours to get there i'm gonna send my bill for about 150 dollars and like i said it's crazy because my time is valuable just like his time is that's why i don't ever sit and stand it and i go there and i've noticed people that if i got a three o'clock there's three people there at 3 o'clock. Yeah. They do that in case you don't show up. So they know, okay, if Mr. King don't show up, uh, we could take Mr. Watkins over here because we gave him a 3 o'clock appointment too. If Mr. Watkins don't show up, we could take Mr. Smith because we gave him a 3 o'clock appointment too. Ha ha ha! We got three of them. So they're running five, ten minutes late, two hours late, you know. They just, they don't care. A doctor now, if he spends over five minutes with you, you're lucky. Lucky. You know, he don't know. Doc. An old country doctor, he used to spend minutes, he knew, he knew everything about you. Everything. He'd ask you how you was doing. How's the family doing? How's the baby doing? These jokers here don't ask nothing. Nothing. All right, well, that's my opinion. Sorry I went over the five minutes, but I'm telling right now, hey, I care for you. But I'll talk to you later. Hey, it's Big John coming to you live in person in the Fallacious Studios downtown Chester, Virginia. Yes, sir. Hey, have a happy, 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 happy Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much. Don't drink too much. If you drink, don't drive. Please don't. They're out there. They're looking for you. Yes, sir. Hey, God bless you. Be careful. Be safe. The VIJ is coming to you. Shout it out. Oh, yeah. That's my new thing now. When we end the story, we're going to shout it out. All right. Goodbye.